Hey guys, what is up? Now, uh, ready to you come with a brand new video. So, um, today I'm going to talk about the PS5 as a whole, and the title will be Can the PS5 Run or Play the PS3 Games? And by the way, this is an article from Screen Rant. I'm going to read you to it, and I'm going to give you my opinion. I always do on my videos. I love giving you my opinions, and I really would like to. I haven't posted some reviews because I haven't been playing new games, but I can talk about games. So, yeah, today I've been really covering the PS5 on my videos so much. I really like covering this type of video opinions and articles so if you like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel please give it a like and let's get right into the article this is coming from screen rant the article will be down below so you can read it and analyze it and then you can give me all your opinion on the on the comment below so let's get right into it can the ps5 play ps3 games the PS5 is a big step forward for Sony, and many fans are wondering if the new system will be backward compatibility and play PS3 games. By the way, the PS3 games was a masterpiece of a hardware, but have a major flaw developing games and running games. And that is why I think the PS4 didn't feature backward compatibility as a whole. But that's another discussion, really. The gaming industry is slowly gearing off for the release of the next gen systems. The PS5 and Xbox Series X, Sony has opted for a slow and steady approach with information, meaning there's a lot unknown about the PS5. There's a lot of rumors, a lot of patents, a lot of things that the PS5 has been really, really leaking in my opinion. Many leakers out there are leaking tons and tons of information, from the instant demo for the RAR DNA 3 and things as a whole about the Tempest engine and the DualShock. So this leaves many fans with some burning questions about the upcoming console and its features. Of course, one of the biggest questions for any console and gamer, in my opinion, is backward compatibility as players want to carry over any game they might own. Sony has briefly commented on the PS5 being backward compatibility, uh, backward compatible. But there's still a fair amount that is unknown. With that in mind, some consumers are wondering if the PS5 will play PS3 games. Sony has revealed that the PS5 will be backward compatible, compatible in some way, but fans shouldn't hold their breath for older generation. An article on the PlayStation Bob in March confirmed that the PS5 will be backward compatible with most of the PS4 games. Here is Sony's statement. This is the statement that Sony posted because after the Mark Cerny um, conference, Many people will say, no, oh, there only runs 100 games. No, they will be a lot of games if you didn't know. Those 100 games that Mark Cerny said were boosted. Like boosted, let's say you're playing God of War, you're playing um, uh, Sekiro Shadow Die Twice, you're playing Horizon, and those games are the 100 most played games, and those 100 games will be boosted 60 frames per second, 1080p 4K gaming. So none of those games run 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 4, but in the PS5 will be boosted. So if you don't know, now you know it. A quick update on the backward compatibility with all the amazing games in the PS4 catalog. Where the board is significant for to enable our fans to play the favorites on PS5, we believe that the overwhelming majority of the 4,000 plus PS4 titles will be playable on the PS5. That's what I'm saying. So the 100 titles that Sony said were titles that will be boosted. So either way, your 4,000 and plus games will be playable. Let's say you got your, I don't know, Persona 5, then you will be playing Persona 5. Let's say you got Hello Kitty Gaming or shit like that. So you will be still playing your Hello Kitty gaming card. We continue with the article. Say the blog post made no mention of older generation paths of the PS4. And even then, it sounds like not every single PS4 game will be playing on the system. It's unlikely that the PS5 will be able to play PS4 games in any way, especially considering the PS4 never saw backward compatibility of any kind. The best thing hoped for will be some kind of improved system for the PS Now or some digital distribution of the PS3 titles. Sony is approaching the PS4 on case by case basis for the backward compatibility, which is already a massive undertaking. Adding PS3 games on top of that will be considerably amount of work, and it's likely just not the cards for the launch of the PS5. So what does that mean? What does it mean for the P for the PlayStation fanboys, for the PlayStation community, and the gamer as a whole? Many people are been talking about where are the PS3 games. There's a lot of PS3 games that that that, that catalog was big. I, I was seeing games launch each and every single year, like sequels, like Uncharted. You will see an Uncharted uh, one year, one year uh, release, next year no, next year release, like that. The like games were made 
very fast on the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 features one of the biggest catalogs I have seen. The PS4 though, when the PS4 was on top, they released some backward compatibility on the place with PlayStation 2 titles, but only released famous PlayStation 2 titles, like where the fuck was uh, NBA Street. I really would like to play NBA Street on the PS4. Like I really like that game. Like, like, like that game is was amazing. So where's Black? Uh, like I know that's on the Xbox um, One, but where is on the PlayStation 4? So the PlayStation 5 being transition. All I, only I want to say about the backward compatibility is the digital games. My digital games are in library is like gigantic. I like I got like five five hundred games alone. Alone, and I am counted to buy more games this year. Like, really, I got 500, 500 games, guys. Like, a lot, I got a lot. So, I really want to know how those games will transition on the backward compatibility for the PlayStation 5 and, and the PS3. There's, by the way, one thing I want to get, uh, want to get out there there's no nobody confirming that the PlayStation 5 will not have backward compatibility with the PS3, PS2, and PS1, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation uh, PSP portable. There's no worry denying it. That is a big rumor that leakers have said. So hold it down. Just don't drink. Drink it with a cup of salt. Like take a take a little salt. Because there's still hope for us. There's still hope that you want to play your Crisis Core. There's still hope that you want to play your Persona 4, 3, 2, and 1. And there's still hope to play your Mario Kart or your SpongeBob or your Story of Humans. There's still hope. But, in, so, really, the PS5 can still be a monster. Releasing all those catalogs for the PlayStation, for the PlayStation Universe, it will be a huge blow to Microsoft uh, backward compatibility program. Because, if we put it in perspective, if we put it honestly to honest person, the PlayStation Universe has a lot of fucking games. With the PSP alone, it's, it's just mind-blowing. I remember people playing Monster Hunter, the G Freedom United, on the PSP. I think it was G Freedom, I don't even remember. But that game, Metal Gear Peace Walker. Fucking Metal Gear Portable Ops. And one of my favorite, Resistance Retribution, on the PSP. Just imagine that in your mind, in PlayStation Port and PlayStation Backward Compatibility on the PlayStation 5. Yes, Sony can do backward compatibility. Yes, has been proven that PlayStation 4 can run PS3 games because it has been done before. But the question is this: Can it may be possible on day one launch date? Remember, Xbox One didn't have backward compatibility in still a couple of years. I really like the backward compatibility um, system. I really do. I have played many games that I really miss. Like Crisis, like King, and really, um, really play games I didn't even know, like Kingdoms of Amalur. I really love that game. But if the PS5 can launch backward compatibility with all the PlayStation Universe, it's done. But the question of the hundred bucks, if if Sony will make it, and in my opinion, is a 50/50 chance. It's a 50/50 chance. We can still have our hopes, we can still be disappointed. And if Sony doesn't take this chance that they have, it may be a big blow that Microsoft can give to them. So guys, if you like my video, make sure you just give it a subscribe and give it a thumbs up. If you like backward compatibility, let's make something. If you like backward compatibility, make sure you give me your best game on the comment. See you later. Next time. Peace.